Hi, we're gonna go through how to start your day on 3 East. We're gonna go into how to print your strips, how to do your wave reviews, and your e-calipers. So Mary Kate is gonna show us how to do all this. Thanks so many. All right. <laughs> so you click on your patient. Hi, welcome back. <laughs> click on the patient window, and then it'll come up for like real time. And when you wanna print your strip, you're gonna to go to wave review. And then if you click on the last one, it'll be the t like the time now. But say you forgot and you need to go back like four hours, you can click down here and it'll give you, you know, where you want to click for. Um, but we, if we want to do it for now, we're going to click, you know, down here. To get rid of this blue line, see it says pleth, you can get rid of this because that'll print out on your strip. This is the respiratory lead. If you want to get rid of that, you click that. So now it's just your EKG strip. So when you do your E caliber, you just click here and then to do your PR. You actually, you have to click on this before you measure it. So then you just want to get here, see now it screwed down. I'll do this one, sorry. So there's your PR. Click on it. QRS. Just drag it. And then the QT. Here, everything looks fine. Now the R to R, you can see if it's sinus rhythm. Let's see, it lets me drag it, yeah. So it's just like regular calibers. So this looks regular to me. But then again, over here, mm -hmm. I guess that would be, it looks like um, a PAC, like an early complex, because it's not the wide, you're regular. So mm -hmm. to print it, you just unclick and record, it'll print out. So when you, I mean, the PAC might not show up on this strip. Let's see here. So now that looks like a PVC too. Mm -hmm. um, you can also go to like alarm review and this will tell you like here this obviously an alarm went off or something. So if you look at it, um, mm -hmm. that's why I guess it, like, it, might have, it might not have been a red alarm, but it, even a yellow alarm. You can go back and look at what anything but just looking at this person, it looks like they're in sinus rhythm, but obviously they're having some irregular, mm -hmm. so that's it. And then the heart rate, we would just count from here, how many complex, three, six. So it already prints, with it, which is nice when you use the e-calibers, it does print with the PR and mm -hmm. such at the top. And then we just say, I've been telling staff just to make note of that, because sometimes we'll have like PRs of 0.24 when okay. they're not maybe picking up the heart block. Mm -hmm. And then just to verify sometimes. Yes, yeah, so we write, that it we'll write down is. like the what, the, what it is. So like mm -hmm. I would say, it's not really sinus rhythm, but um, you write down the heart rate, so you would count. And it, that's up there too, but we always double check yeah. it. Six, seven, eight, nine. I would say like nine, heart rate 90. So it's saying 87. Okay. And then you would say, with PACs and PVCs, because that looks like a PVC. It does. And we would note that and then put it in the, in the chart. chart. And, and then good. I would, um, too, like, if, if, I mean, we always said, like, if anything new, we always said no, we got it back. Right. Like, if they're just starting to have, like, PVCs or if you notice something changed, you just call the doctor and let them know. And half the time, they're just like, yeah, because okay. it looks like overnight they have PVCs too, but sometimes I was telling staff, like, make sure that we're noting that in yeah. there, so it's not just a normal sinus. You can see, it doesn't always print out in the strip, but, like, you'll see, like, you might see it here. So it might, like, in the strip you actually printed, it might not have a PVC, but obviously this person's, like, having it. Like, this one looks fine, but see, he still has yep. an occasional PVC. PVCs. And then we would know, we'd call the doctor or provider for that. I mean, you don't have to call them for everyone. I would say if it's new, if it's, like, something new that you notice, call them and just tell them. I noticed like they're start, they're having PVCs or obviously like heart block like if you noted that like that's like new compared to the other strips. Can I have her show her how to verify your arrhythmia alarms like what the alarms are set up for the highs and lows for that? Oh yeah. Sorry, this is something that we talked to go over like each show. So here, um, I mean you can change it. We don't usually. And then I think it would be, would it be in a rhythm? I think if they set, is that the set? This. That would show you then. We don't usually change any of this stuff either. Like, okay. unless if someone's a bradycardic, um, you know, their heart rate lives in like the 50s or something. Yeah, they're, they're 
because the policy says that they we should get an order from the transplant team just right. for just to set the monitor ten below, ten above their intrinsic. So that's something they've they've been good about, like the sta the doctors yeah, see, are putting we don't, in. Yeah, like and we'll do we'll, the same. We'll get an order, but we don't usually usually change after it. that. Yeah, yeah. But that's how you would go into that alarm arrhythmia alarm, mm -hmm. and that gives you the window of all of this stuff. Yeah, because these all, all alarm when they go all, like mm -hmm. if they're checked. That means it's if it It'll happens, alarm. it's going to alarm. And then if somebody's paced, they always come checked as paced, right? And then mm -hmm. we just uncheck if the patient is a non-pacemaker patient. That'll be when you admit them. When, when you, you admit, admit them, them, they ask you if they're paced, and you want to make sure you uncheck it if they're not. Can you go through admitting somebody? Can we do a dummy admit, like pretend on a patient? Yeah. Sorry. Uh, is that all right to do this pairs? Yeah. Um, all right, so they admit. So see, this automatically. The guardian. <laughs> Um, this is automatically checked, so you would just uncheck it, put in their last name. Is that what you guys do? Last name and first initial? Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. what we do. And then you would hit admit patient. That's all. You don't, you don't have to put the rest of the stuff. I mean, I don't do you No, you're fine. And then they did tell us to make sure before somebody lands in the room for the vital signs, you admit them so that their vital signs all copies in. Yeah, because then you can, like, um... You go back and yeah, yeah pair them up together. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then um, other, the only other thing is just the, this alarm review is important because you can like go back and look at what yeah, they were. Let's well, see, this is another patient, but see, he must have been on pulse ox. Yeah. The pulse ox was thingy, but um, you know, just hear this guy like alarm review. Mm -hmm. So it just tells you like their heart rate, I guess, went high or something. And I noticed too the doctors come in the morning a lot of them. The They'll look at this, yeah, because then you see yeah. these yellow, this is, when you click on it, it shows like something. It's like loading back. And red alarms we always respond to, nobody can ignore. It's, there's no silencing, you have to respond. So. Which most of the time the red alarm is like the leads are off or, you know, desatting or um, like SVT or something, like something real tachycardic, yeah. bradycardic. We don't see that many like red alarms other than those things. And what else? That's good. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, like standby. I mean, we only really do that when they're leaving for a test. You have to make sure you have an order that they can travel unmonitored if you're going to take them off of this. Otherwise, we'll use the telepacks. Right. Most of our patients can you know, travel in the telepacks. If they're going to the OR, we take them down. We can take them down the portable monitor and bring them back, bring back the monitor, and then they'll be on their monitor there. Yeah, and then you can put them on standby because it says standby. That way you yes, know that they're on tele they're... when they come back. Yeah. And then that way, but we can send them to dialysis. We can send them to, you know, ultrasound or on the tele. X-ray, MRI is the only one you can't. Yeah. So you have to make sure you have to get an We'd have to get travel order. on monitor for that. Perfect. Um, and then this monitoring station, we can do all of this from the other monitoring station. We can just, just review it. Just okay. viewing. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that.